Today's video is about ParliamentLive.tv, how to find, watch and download. Today is Tuesday the 17th of December 2019, where you can see on desktop how we can get started and watch along live as it happens. You can also watch on mobile, three screens there, and also today's events, three screens. It also means that in 2019, the United Kingdom Parliament has been televised for 30 years now, where you can also see on the bottom right that coverage is up hugely in the last little while, of course, with all the EU withdrawal. If you look at the event guide, you can see a nice table here with the Commons and the Lords. Clicking the information button, we get what happens today, Tuesday the 17th of December. We're now going to have a look at a detail and demonstration search, where search can be found on the top right. Before we do that, we're going to slip over to members.parliament and just get an idea of who these 650 people are for the purpose of this search. We're going to look at bottom left, find MPs, and from that we get an A to Z. If we want to get some rough idea, and I'm using the example here of Vicky Ford MP, where you can see that she is listed very clearly, and just for purpose here I put the, the Twitter so we can see a little bit more on how to find Vicky Ford. You can see that her maiden speech was made on the 21st of June 2017 at 8.48pm. That's what I'm going to attempt to find, look at and download. By the way, there are 140 new MPs of 650 right now, December 2019. That's actually 22% new MPs who, of course, will be making a maiden speech. This example shows Alicia Kearns, where you can clearly see the term listed in the directory, but not with a photo as yet. Sure, that will change the next couple of days. If you want to find Alicia Kearns MP as the example, there is the Twitter bottom right. I will link it to you. So, parliamentlive.tv top right search means that in the member box, I'm literally going to type Vicky and Vicky Ford comes up and then select that. These are screens by the way just to show you my process. I've also adjusted the date from the 1st of June 2017 to the 1st of July 2017 because that's kind of like where I know the maiden speech would have happened. We have now searched and we have found three events. Of them we have found the one that we need which is actually the second one although I put the arrow just to demonstrate that we can play those items. Then, when you get to that page, it's really interesting and so detailed with pretty much everything on the page is actually hot clickable. So if I click down here at 2104, it would actually start, you know, at that exact segment. The player you can see, and we've got a share here and you can play along. Then, these two screens show how you can actually share with a start time and an end time and then get the link or send it out to Facebook, Twitter, etc. On the right hand side is something I'm about to do, which is download the clip. And I'm going to click video, put my email address in and read the terms and conditions, pretty much that you're agreeing to use this sensibly for your own personal use. Once all of that is done, you're back in email and you get the first screen, which is actually saying that your clip is processing. The second screen says it's ready. And by the way, this just took a couple of seconds, not even a minute to do. And then you click the link to download and I've got the downloaded clip, which is about three minutes long. Maiden speech, Vicky Ford. Yeah. That concludes this part of ParliamentLive.tv, how to find, watch and download.